Hi, this is Scott with Spectre Gear, and for this video, we're going to be talking about uh, transitioning to your sidearm with your your uh, one point sling. And just like the uh, the two point sling and the three point sling, the uh, the same principle occurs as far as the the gun falling to what's called that offside drop position if you have the sling slung up correctly. And the correct way for uh, a shooter to wear a one point sling is going to be having the main strap passing over the shooting side shoulder and exiting underneath the offside armpit. Uh, and in doing so, what will happen is when you go for that transition and you control that descent down, that gun is going to fall to your offside or the offside of your body, opening up a, a clear unobstructed path to your sidearm so that you can transition that sidearm and stay in the fight. Uh, all the principles remain the same. There's a, a couple schools of thought I, I hear people talk about uh, particularly with the uh, the single point or the one point slings, that these have a tendency if you uh, if you go for a transition, it's going to fall and it's going to drop and, and hit you right in the groin. Um, I suppose it would if you just simply let go of the gun and let it fall. Uh, but whenever we're going to be doing the transition, something to always keep in mind is although you are going to be getting rid of this gun, you are still positioning it. You don't just simply throw it away and then go for the pistol. You don't need both hands to go for the pistol. You're going to draw with this hand. This hand is not going to be needed for just a little bit. So to execute that transition, you just simply, as your strong side hand goes for the handgun in the holster, this hand is going to bring the gun down to the off side of your body, and then the hands come together like so to complete your draw stroke. So you can, as I said, train yourself to do more than one thing at a time since we got our two hands to play with. So let me go ahead and show you that live fire so you can kind of see what it looks like. So I'm coming up, I'm in my strong side shooting position. Okay, so the gun is now stopped. We want to stay in the fight. We need to transition to that handgun. I'm not going to bother looking to diagnose if this is a malfunction or I'm out of ammunition. I'm simply going to place that down, draw, and I'm going to fire. Get a couple rounds down range, stay on target, stay in the fight. At that point, I could continue covering down, move to a cover position, which would be the, the uh, solid tactical thing to do. Uh, again, covering your adversary, even if they're down the entire time. Once I get to a position of cover, I can then uh, diagnose the problem that I have with the long gun. In this case, I've determined that I'm out of ammunition. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, empty mag. I'm going to put a fresh mag in, go ahead and charge up, and we're good to go again. And that's all we have to do. So I'll show it to you one more time. So we come up to fire. Like that. Gun runs dry. Don't know why. Don't care. I'm going to control that descent down. Come up with my jaw. And get a couple rounds off with the pistol. And then, again, I can move to a position of cover. Make sure that I keep this guy covered until I can get this gun back in the fight. Once I do, or I get into a position where I can start addressing that, I can then bring the gun up online. Again, determine that, yes, we're out of ammunition. And we're good to go. So that pretty much wraps it up. Um, that's it. That's all, all you have to worry about as far as your, uh, your transition uh, drills with the single point sling or the one point sling. So with that, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.